After you have received your login information via email, it's time to begin exploring Newsletter Architect. Go to newsletterarchitect.com, select the login button in the top right of the screen. Your username will be your email address. Type in your temporary password that was emailed to you. And select the button that says Log Me In. Upon your initial login, you will see the Terms of Service for using Newsletter Architect. Please read through the Terms of Service carefully and then select I Agree. On this next page you will be prompted to enter a new password. Start by entering the old password, that is the temporary password that was emailed to you, and then decide on your new password. As you can see there are certain specifications for our passwords. You may use special characters, but the password does have to be six characters long. Make sure you save your password in a safe location and hit Change Password. Should you forget your password in the future, simply hit the Login button at the top of the home page and we've provided a link for Forgot Password. Enter your email address and reset your password. And then click Reset Password. We will email you a new temporary password so that you can log in and set your password again. If you are an administrator for multiple communities, you'll see a drop-down box like this when you first log in. This makes it easy to navigate between communities. If you wish to navigate from one community to another in Newsletter Architect, simply go to Settings, select the link that says Change Client, and go to a different community. The link for home will take you to a page similar to this that will show up to three newsletters. The Getting Started link will open a separate window. This reveals 10 bullet points on how to produce and publish a newsletter. You may want to save this PDF file to your computer or print it as a helpful guide for creating a newsletter. The next link you will see is Order History. This page is an overview of your orders. You'll have an order number, the newsletter name, the folder in which the project is located, the type of order, your confirmation number, your status. This column is very important after you publish a newsletter. You have a window of up to three business hours to go back and make corrections or cancel an order before it's published. This column is for the date that the newsletter was last modified, the total dollar amount of your order, and this column here shows whether or not the order had been canceled. The settings link is a location where you can go in and change your password, you can edit your return address, or if you're a property management administrator, there's also a change client link. This is where property managers go to flip between communities. Please watch the remaining videos in this series to learn more about Newsletter Architect.